What's up, guys? This is Travis. And this is Jason. We're the QBs on wheels. Tonight's show is going to be um, players to watch um, through the preseason into the regular season, um, people that stand out, you know, the superstars that really ain't superstars. All right, Jason. At least not yet. Yep. Yeah, let me ask you. I, I, I watched the uh, the Cowboys and uh, 49ers game with great interest. Uh, for old school Cowboys fans, you know that our nemesis has always been the 49ers. We always seem to both be good or both be bad at the same time. And uh, so that that's always a fun game for me until this week. Let's start by looking at the enemy, the San Francisco 49ers. And um, I'll tell you, they got a new rookie, Jalen Hurd. And uh, so, so tell me, what would you do, Travis, if you had a guy that ran for 2,600 yards, 20 touchdowns, 530 touches in his, his three-year career, what would you do with him? That's right. Make him a wide receiver. All day. So this uh, ex volunteers running back turned wide receiver was actually pretty impressive. Uh, he got three balls for 31 yards and two TDs. Uh, there's another guy, Debo Samuel, that also had a great game. So there's a lot of young blood on the uh, – in the receiving core for the 49ers. Yeah, Jalen Hurts did look good. He looked real good. Yeah, he did. Um, I just wanted to say about the Kansas City Chiefs, um, I bet you all you fans, uh, your heart stopped a minute when Patrick Mahomes is running towards that touchdown. Right. Luckily, luckily, he got down and uh, he didn't get hurt. But um, I wanted to mention him for a second. Everybody said second year, he's going to be a bust, like he could down, go downhill, blah, blah, blah. This guy looked like he didn't skip a beat. Like, he was on point. Uh, that pass to Travis Kelsey, wow, that was perfectly placed. Um, and then another guy, Nicole Hardman. This guy was a rookie second-round pick. Um, he runs a 4-3-3, and he's a wide receiver. Now they do got Tyreek Hill, and pairing him up with him, ooh, you ain't going to be able to stop the deep ball against Kansas City. I'm just going to say that. So I'm, I'm excited to watch Kansas City Chiefs this year. I saw an interview with, with Pat Mahomes after uh, the game. And they're like, you know, what were you doing running the ball down to the one-yard line? Uh, you know, you're, gonna, you're scaring us all. And he's like, well, it was preseason. If it was the regular season, I would have jumped for it. <laughs> he definitely would have, too. Well, um, listen, I, I wanted to talk a bit about the Cowboys. And uh, I, I decided that since we're talking about the Cowboys, I'd invite a few Cowboys fans over to join me. So I hope that's okay with you. <laughs> <sighs> All right, ladies, let me tell you about your Cowboys. Um, unfortunately, uh, the... The most impressive player uh, was Cooper, but not Amari Cooper. And Cooper Rush, their, uh, their backup QB, is one of the, the two backup QBs uh, competing with Mike White for the, the secondary role. Dallas has always had a, um, a, a habit of bringing in a veteran QB as their backup. But this year, they're going with two young guys. I'm not sure what that says, other than maybe they were just the guys available to draft at the moment. But, uh, yeah, Cooper Rush looked great. Uh, real poised. Mike White, on the other hand, dropped the ball twice. And so I think that, as of right now, Cooper Rush looks like the, uh, the shoe-in for backup slot behind Dak. That did play, went four for four, looked just like uh, the old Dak. The other thing I wanted to, to mention to you was uh, who looked best at running back. 
Well, Zeke. And Zeke didn't even play. The reality is the two guys that, that had the opportunity to shine uh, in Zeke's absence, and uh, they, they uh, did nothing. Uh, the, the Cowboys had no running game whatsoever without Zeke. And his press tag just went up. So if you were looking for Zeke to uh, crack under the pressure and uh, j rejoin the team with with his rookie contract, that ain't happening. It's clear that, that he's uh, incredibly valuable to Jerry Jones in getting his pro status going up, not down. Yeah, I'd be a little worried if I was a Cowboys uh, fan right now because if they don't, they don't pay him, man. It's going to be a long season for Cowboy fans. Yep. yep. And, and here are six women that agree with me. <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Yeah. The, the, uh, the second team I wanted to talk about is the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, a guy named Devin Bush. He's a rookie this year, linebacker, first round. Um, he was all over the field. Unbelievable. Ten tackles, seven solo. I mean, this dude was crazy. And uh, pairing him up with uh, T.J. Watt is going to be unbelievable. Like, their, their linebacking core is real, real strong right now. And uh, I also wanted to mention, without Antonio Brown on the Steelers now, James Washington is stepping up. This dude is crazy. Four catches, 84 yards on the touchdown. Like, and that's with uh, the backup QB. So just imagine Ben Roethlisberger in there. And pairing up with Juju Smith, Schuster, he, uh, Juju should take most of the double teams. That, that leaves James, uh, James Washington wide open. So I'm kind of excited to see that. Uh, pan out. I think I'll tell you, every couple of years, the Steelers get a good offense and do nothing. Yeah. But when the Steelers have a good defense, they're really hard to stop. They could go uh, the whole way to the Super Bowl if those linebackers uh, uh, do as well as they've been doing so far. Yeah. Well, you said you had special guests on you. This is the only girl I need in my life. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Last night, she both of our pets made a made a rather stealthy uh, debut in our in our video. We didn't even see them until uh, we were going into editing. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. I didn't even know she was doing it at the time. <laughs> but all I right. Think yeah. Besides heart attacks for the Chiefs, uh, there's a b bunch of uh, co cool players to watch. Yeah. That that running back turned wide receiver for the the 49ers, some uh some D on the Steelers, and uh absolutely nothing in the backfield of the Cowboys. <laughs> all right. we're, we're, best offensive line in, in football though, so they should be all right. Yep. Yep. All right, guys. We're out. See you. on reels. See you tomorrow. Uh, subscribe, like, share it with all your friends. Please do. Get us to a thousand subscribers. I don't know how many we're at now, but uh, 